Welcome all to Chasing Tents. My name is Abby. Thank you so much for joining me guys to this new video, which is all about the summary of the five hours endurance race or 700 kilometer endurance race at Donington Park GP circuit. Now, it's a really bright day, as you can tell. I've got my sunglasses on, so you've got to excuse me because the sun's just there. So what happened at the race? Normally, what I would do, I would do a full summary, full recording, the ambience, other bikes, all the teams, everything on the racetrack. This time, I didn't record anything at all. By the way, if you've not watched the pre-race kind of prep video, which I rarely ever did, but this time I did it, how I prepped the bike and everything, you must watch that. It's quite interesting and quite quirky. Anyway, so I didn't record anything. Dare I say I was a bit nervous this time because I was only covering for a friend who had some family commitments. So I, you know, it was a wild card race for me just out of nowhere. And I hadn't ridden a bike for five years, five years, five months. So I was a bit, um, bit skeptical, a bit scared, I dare I say. Didn't want to let my team down. So how qualifying went, I didn't record anything uh, in terms of qualifying on the bike. Luckily this time, No Limits were absolutely happy to have any camera behind the, the fairing of the bike. That was quite interesting. In 2022, uh, they said you can have the ca um, cameras in the front of the bike and stuff. This time they said, if it's at the back, they're fine, which means my camera mount, which is on the stem uh, of the bike, the, the kind of top yoke of the bike through a ram mount was accepted this time. So I could record footage this time, unlike um, the 2022 season. You gotta excuse the noise, I live on a, a busy road. Anyways, so qualifying went really well. We qualified third out of 13 or 14 teams in our class. Altogether, it was a busy grid. We had about 36 or 43 teams. I know this is a very vast number. I just don't rem remember. I'm confusing Donington with Snetterton a bit. Anyway, so we qualified third. Uh, teammate Andy Ashcroft did a 1 minute 38.8 and Steve uh, Ward did a 1 minute 38.9 and yours truly did a 1 minute 43, unfortunately, because it was my first time on the bike after five months and I had a huge problem with my brakes. I basically had no confidence in the brakes. I just have no front brake. Last three laps, just got nothing. I just can't believe it. It's just air in the system. So disappointed. It's all right, did good. Something was wrong, and I will tell you a bit more about that later. Anyway, so that was qualifying, great qualifying. Then we start the race, and we start really well. Long story short, because I don't want to make this video too long, because it's just me talking a lot. Um, let me show you actually some footage of me on my first stint and you will see how pathetically slow I am and I only did a 25 minute stint. Normally, I'm, I've known in my team and previously as well that I, I do easily an hour, an hour 10 minutes, an hour 15 minutes is my maximum at Cadwell Park and I came in within 25 minutes because I just had absolutely no confidence in my brakes. So here is some footage of some slow laps with, with my brake issue. Uh, but this is the first stint in this race.
Welcome back guys. So uh, Andy Ashcroft had already done a fantastic stint and then I went out and I did a, a really poor stint and then Steve uh, went out. Um, in this time what I did while Steve was out I was frantically looking for someone who could uh, bleed my brakes. Actually I actually bled my race after the qualifying so I thought for the race my bike will be fine. So massive kudos, thank you, really grateful to Smart Racing uh, and I think the, the, the chap who races in the Smart Racing um, you know, is also racing in the British uh, Super Sport if I'm not wrong and Gavin Smart and uh, the young lad Mr Smart um, he sorted my bleeding out. I had a few bubbles in the system uh, but then when I went out to this first stint which I've just shown you I still had the brake issue and I've come back in and I'm scratching my head again and I'm asking a lot of people um, what is wrong. So what someone said to me how long have you used these brake pads and I had so these were Vesra brake pads and I had half a meat left like 50% uh, of the meat was still there on the pads but something I learned which I never knew before that just like you can cook a compound a tire compound you can also cook brake pads so I did two days on them at Assen TT circuit I did three days at Aragon circuit I did four days at Andalusia circuit and Aragon and Andalusia was half decent pace I think I did a two minute eight at Aragon and Andalusia was a two minute five flat so I was quite happy with that but in the process I got told by a British Superstock team engineer that I had cooked the compound of the brakes so they weren't they were glazed that's the word he used so I had never knew about that before so I've learned something new there myself luckily I had some Akasato brake pads carbon brake pads in my um, in my toolbox which I had only used one day at the Assen circuit and which was the slowest day that day one so I put them on and I then go out for my second stint but before I tell you uh, what happened um, I must tell you that I had stupidly another bike issue as soon as I went on full throttle on my second stint which was a 70 minute stint I'll show you some footage in a bit as soon as I went out every time I went full throttle I would lose power completely now this is nothing if you've been a regular follower of me I had a similar issue at uh, Aragon racetrack and it wasn't the exhaust valve it was something electronic I don't know what I am st I'm still confused I need to go back to TBR performance do a dyno run and find what the fault is I never get faults like this on my bike where I'm like I'm clueless uh, you know normally it's always the exhaust valve which I should have always taken out but it's not that the power just cuts out so let me show you some some very inconsistent laps with that power issue but I did a 70 minute stint because we had a 15 minute safety car on this one so let me show you this lap and I'll come back to you in a minute
Okay guys, so welcome back. So as you can tell, um, not only the laps were inconsistent, I was a bit all over the place on the straight. 600s were overtaking me, the 765 Triumphs were overtaking me on the straight because I just couldn't get on full power. And I was somewhere between 70% throttle and 80% throttle. Extremely frustrating because I felt absolutely epic on the bike. I think at the best I did was a 1 minute 42, which is pathetic because that is my same lap time on the old lesser grippier tarmac in 2019 uh, so i was i was confident i could do a 1 minute 38 1 minute 39 but that issue didn't let me do it however the big bad news isn't this the big bad news of the race is it was a five hour race we were leading well we were second and leading by a lap from third place for three hours out of five I'll let the cop car go and I'll continue the video. So now the police car is gone, I can continue the video. So we were second and leading by a lap from the third team. Um, and uh, that, that was three hours and five minutes. So majority of the race, we were running second. And then we got struck with some bad luck because lovely fast guy, Andy Ashcroft, unfortunately crashed. Uh, it wasn't his fault. I think another rider, I'll show you some footage now. I think another rider crashed and it just, um, and it was the Craner Corners and Andy just had no option just to go on the grass and then he couldn't really stop uh, properly um, and just crash into another bike or something like that. I'll show you the footage properly and this footage is by Pascara Productions. I must throw them a line because I don't know them at all but they put videos of all crashes, all incidents of all the races on YouTube. And I think within a year or two, the, the chaps have got 14,000 subscribers, if I'm not wrong. So massive thank you to them for this footage. Otherwise, I, we wouldn't have any footage of our friend's crash. And um, yeah, it, was, it is what it is. We unfortunately then dropped to eighth place. After my 70 minute stint, we went up to sixth place, I think, uh, no, seventh place. And then Steve Ward went and we were on sixth place. But another bad luck happened. Steve Ward ran out of fuel 30 seconds before the checkered flag. So he came back into the pits and when he came back in and I was about to go out, the pit lane was red flagged, sorry, red lighted, You mean which means the pit lane is closed and the checkered flag was out. So basically we were DNF'd sadly, but it is what it is. That incident reminded me of a time, I think it was 1998 British Grand Prix or could be 99 British Grand Prix and Schumacher had to take a five second penalty um, and he was winning the race and Ross Braun being Ross Braun, a, a clever clog, Schumacher came into the play pits and served the penalty on the last lap but the, their Ferrari's pits was after the checkered flag so he crossed the checkered flag in the pits and won the race. It kind of reminded me of that situation but instead of us winning the race we were unfortunately DNF. So unfortunate disaster altogether from a from a near triumph uh, of a second place to a, a complete disaster and I am really upset that the bike has a bit of an issue uh, I don't know it's frustrating um, this bike has served me well for many years I never cussed the bike never amazing bike Aprilia RSV4's best handling bike out there um, doesn't let me down too often very good bike and if I've ever crashed on this bike it's always been my fault so I don't know what went wrong why I can't put full throttle as soon as it hits the full throttle the power cuts off so that was the story of our race um, I'm sorry I couldn't show you much of the paddock footage which I normally did so if you are new to the channel this isn't the way I portray my races normally but thank you for joining me this was a bit of a disaster but next race is at Cadwell Park I'm not racing but I'm recording for Team JAS Racing with Jamie Harris, Steve Ward and Andy Ashcroft. So I'll catch you at Cadwell Park, which is the iconic circuit in the UK. Thank you for watching. Take care, look after yourself. Well, that is the end of the day with all the bikes from our garage. That's mine and that's all my stuff. My mate's just packed, so I'm gonna bring my car and trailer and uh, and go, this, this chap didn't have a very good day. Look, his bike's completely broken. And unfortunately, one of our mates crashed. And uh, 
It's very sad because he was going really, really well. Otherwise, we would have got second position today out of 13, 13 in class, in our class. And uh, we ended up sixth or eighth or something like that, you know. Well, champagnes are getting open even now. People are really happy, the ones who won. But it is what it is. Another day, another race. Today was a wild card, but the skies have cleared beautifully. You can see one or two stars, but yeah, what a day. Time to sign off.